Hey YouTube, Frog Toad here. Well, this is going to be kind of a video response that I promised to do for a friend of mine. And uh, this is for Gunwild1. And he was doing an old school EDC kind of tag thing. And this is really hard for me because when I step up or outgrow something, I tend to either, you know, give it away or pass it along to somebody else, uh, you know, that's on their journey in life. I just don't usually keep stuff. So I can only go back, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 years at best. I'll give this a whirl and maybe give you an idea of what, you know, I carried back then. Um, I almost always had, you know, a little Victora Knox or something like it. This one here is only a few years old. But uh, again, you know, something like this, um, you know, I usually have one or two of them. And if I come across somebody who doesn't carry a blade, you know, a young person or a younger person than I, a lot of times I'll make these a gift. So, you know, I, I keep one around, but this is a lot, none of this is going to be stuff that I've actually had for 20, 30 years. It's just examples of it. And uh, also, anybody who follows my channel, you know, I don't like to carry a lot of stuff in my pocket. So that's just not the way it's going to be. Um, I do always have a nail a set of nail clippers and, and uh, file. My fingernails get dirty. In fact, you can see they're dirty here. They get dirty fast. Uh, they also grow fast. So, gotta have it. Um, as far as a wallet, as a young man, I carried a bifold and a trifold like a lot do. Uh, about 20, 25 years ago, I started carrying day planners. Uh, just similar to this one. This one just got retired about a year ago when I went into the small uh, pouches. I had a Conicom one, and then I just got uh, the small Maxpedition one, which there's a video out there. I'll uh, link it down there if you want to take a peek at what I carry today. And usually it contained just, you know, the everyday stuff you carry, you know. And I would usually have the knife as well as this would be in there. You know, as far as firearms go, up until oh, a few years ago, it'd be a tiny wheel gun like this air weight. Um, I got out of the wheel guns for carry, oh, probably about four years ago, started carrying automatics, uh, most commonly the uh, my Ruger LCP, which I don't know how long I'm going to be carrying that. But these these were a staple for me for, oh, I don't know. 10, 12, maybe 14 years, and uh, while not this particular one, one's just like it. I've, I've gone through and, and, and had many of the Model 10s, the Air Weights, um, I had a Ruger Security 6 for a while, it's a little bit bigger than this, but uh, I was living up north, wore more clothes, could wear it. Down here, where I live now, something smaller and lighter is definitely... Uh, the order of the day, and uh, my LCP weighs, oh, I don't know, maybe a third of what this one weighs. So that would have been the best I can do for old school EDC. I hope that works for you, Gun. Uh, those of you who may not know, no Gun Wild one, you know, go take a peek. He's a great guy, down to earth, fun to listen to, and just a, a real genuine human being. So if, if you like that kind of stuff, you like guns, you like knives, he does some wonderful videos on inexpensive knives, which is a really cool segment because it's not everybody can go out and spend 100, 150, maybe even more on, on an EDC blade. And his videos will give you a lot, a look at a lot of different blades that are, that are much, much more uh, modest in their budget. So there you go, Gun. I hope it worked for you. And for everybody else, fair winds. We'll see you next time.